when you listen to week four, because you can't just focus on the third week, which is really the passion and the suffering. Um, and I really do want to thank uh, Father Mossen. We, uh, we're very lucky to have him. The interesting thing is when I invited him, I said, which week do you want? And I gave him a choice, and he chose the third week. The third week is always the most challenging when you're going through the exercises because it's, it's a very tough week, and you realize it. In fact, there even, there's even a term among Jesuits. You know, you're caught in the third week. You realize that you see the suffering, and, and then he mentioned some of the theologians that are, are like that. But there's also that joy of the resurrection that's coming. And Father... Ed Vasek, who is right there, is going to join us right at this podium one week from today to talk about what comes out of the third week and leads you into the fourth week. So we, we do want to welcome you all back. On behalf of uh, Blair University, uh, we do want to thank you for coming all the way from New York just to be with us here. Um, it's we know over here. <laughs> one of the things uh, Father Massa has been doing, you, and you can really tell those who knew him a, a while ago, is he has really kind of been working out and getting in great shape. So we have this little workout uh, outfit that we thought right. we'd, cool. that we would get to you from, uh, from you know, Loyola University to give you so that we can kind of at least have a nice place if you do go jogging or do running or anything else. <laughs> so I want to, as a thank you for that. Since uh, any kind of stipend that we get goes right to the Jesuits, he never gets it. <laughs> <laughs> so at least he has something to bring home in his carry-on bag. So we thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to uh, end with uh, a final comment. Um, we have tried this, this, uh, these four weeks during Lent, uh, these four weeks of the exercises, <laughs> to kind of explain a little bit about what Ignatian spirituality is. And there are some that say that you cannot truly understand Ignatian spirituality without at least at some point be exposed to the exercises. And I, you know, things that I heard right now in terms of a desire, one of the things I think I'm gonna do at the end of next week is maybe even bring a sheet of paper for anyone who wants to explore ways to do it themselves in some form or another. Maybe just a simple handout that there are retreat houses out there. You could even do it online. There are different ways that you could have different versions of the exercises. But also, you know, even though it can be expensive, there are places that are not quite that expensive. If you ever have an opportunity to do it, it's kind of like put it on your bucket list. Set aside some point in your life, 30 days, just to get away. It, it is an amazing, powerful, transforming experience of faith. And if you can work it out, I know it's very challenging, you know, if you have a family and everything else, but if you can work it out, there's nothing like it. When you cut yourself off from the world for 30 days, you know, shut off the phone, no cable, no nothing, and just be with yourself and your God with a director. It is an amazing experience. So all I can say is I encourage you to think about it at some point in your life. Um, we, again, we have a, a little reception afterwards. We encourage you to come back next week. And again, thanks for coming. Thanks, Mark. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy.